Okay, good morning. I, uh, <clears throat> I've got this 1946 Ford 2N tractor that you've seen in some of the videos. And um, after I split it and replaced uh, the starter motor gear last year in this video, um, after that, I think I didn't tighten one of the head bolts down properly. Anyway, fairly certain the head gaskets warped or uh, blown, uh, basically because there's been a lot of um, fluid going into the cylinders and everything else is working fine. So by process of elimination, it, it essentially has to be the head gasket. And I just pulled one of the spark plugs and it was horrendous. So got the cover off, the cowling off, and now I'm going to attempt to get the head off. I think I can, it's just, uh, I don't know. Kind of looks like it's always been on there. So what do we got, 46? 70, uh, 74 years. <laughs> so, might be a little, little bit stuck. Put you on time lapse, because this might take a while. Some good spring, summer day. Spring, summer day? Uh huh. So this is the moment that I get the head off and I discover um, just really how horrific um, the inside of the engine looks. I mean, look at those uh, pistons one and two on the left. Uh, the cylinders are literally packed with rust and antifreeze, and the valves are just frosted with rust, kind of all the valves. Um, yeah, I, I was, yeah, right there. <laughs> That's, I was shocked and kind of disappointed in myself for letting it get that bad. I thought it was some other leak somewhere. I just, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I was hearing it gargle, but I thought it was uh, in the hoses and I tried to figure it out. Anyway, it was not. It was in the pistons and it sat all winter. But um, yeah, so I set, I set about cleaning, mopping everything up. Um, and then over there on the other side, I wish uh, it was just over a little bit, but I was uh, polishing and grinding and getting all the rust out of the, uh, the, the head there. Um, and so I got a gasket kit from Napa for like $10, $20, something like that. And was able to get it kind of all, all back on. And, and it came with a ton of different gaskets, which I'll inevitably use in the future. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of getting the head back on and getting the nuts um, and the studs and the bolts all back into position. And then I, uh, I had to go through and torque everything down to, I think it was like 58 foot pounds something like that um anyway yeah it it was just you know i'm putting everything together putting everything back just making sure everything's in the right place kind of going through and i realized also as you can kind of see here i'm i had to change the engine oil the engine oil was horrific um but yeah i yeah it was a really good learning process and uh, again you know i got all the nuts and bolts and everything off just incredibly um easily you know it's it's been outside for 70 what 76 years something like that um and it, there's just no real rust there's little bits of surface rust rust here and there but anyway yeah get uh going and getting everything back together here and reassembled and then i struggled for a little while to get the the hood the cowling back on um oh. There's nothing like fresh oil in an engine. Man, it feels so good. I got my fingers pretty uh, stuck in here and it was incredibly painful. the inside of that engine. That was a couple hours ago. 
Listen to that. Why can't stuff be made like this anymore? It was a crime scene inside of that motor. It was horrific. And listen to it. like it was just steam blowing off of the cylinder heads which you know all that antifreeze and rust packed in there it's been purring like a kitten for a little while and i've got it uh, back together so let's see if it goes down the road Ford 2N. Metal that doesn't rust. What a truly novel idea. Something made to last. Imagine that. Boy. Imagine that. <laughs> 